Welcome back guys, welcome back to another video. Yes, another video this week. I'm on a roll. So uh, th this video I'm quite happy about because this is something I've wanted to try. It's a new style of commentary. It's post recording commentary. I'm not sure what to call it, but so this fight's already been recorded. Uh, I'm just doing my commentary over it while it's an accelerated. Uh, the whole fight, the whole point of the fight is just to show you a little bit how I deal with Elios. This Elios is not amazing. He does hold his own a little bit. He did a few fails, but so did I, and that's PvP. That's how it is. Uh, the whole point is the strategy that I take versus Elios, and hopefully it can inspire some of you to do the same. So we're just going to start the fight here. Uh, one of the first things you'll notice is my resistance. So first Elios, I choose an, a set which has high initiative, and my resistances that I focus are intelligence and agility. I used to make my sets have strength resistance, but you don't really see many strength values nowadays. Not sure why you see more intelligence and agility. And the good thing about having intelligence resistance as well is Eliotropes can easily put you in your own bomb line. So if I have uh, if I have uh, intelligence resistance, if I get put in my own bomb line, it won't do that much damage. I typically pay, play Kaboom, but I failed my variance on this fight, so I don't have the Kaboom. So what am I doing here? We see the first thing that I'm doing is I'm rushing full in and I'm going to erode the Eliotrope. Uh, Eliotropes can heal themselves quite a lot, which is something you should know. And especially this guy he has like 5.5k base uh, health, which means I can he can really easily heal because a lot of their heals are percentage based. I don't mind if I take that much damage. I see his intelligence has good intelligence resistance. So it doesn't matter too much that he he can resist my my hits. That, that he can hit me because I, I'll be able to resist a little bit and uh, the whole point of the fight is erosion because I can heal anything he does to me as well. So over here we see my first fail actually. I tried to put him in a bomb line while he's uh, eroded. Didn't work out so well. I could have done it differently by just pulling him into uh, into the line towards me but that didn't work because I didn't have it done on my head so that's my biggest fail in the fight. He does quite a few though, so we'll catch up soon enough, no worries about that. Uh, the Elotrope's goal is just going to be to spread his portals out, that way he can hit me and jump through and I'll never be able to reach him. That's typically how they manage their fights. Uh, but my goal is not to let that happen, so on top of eroding, I'm also going to try and block his portals, which you'll see. Uh, always try and block portals, always try and give myself a, a way to reach him. So my best weapon in trying to reach him is going to be Ruse. So I always play Ruse versus Aliotropes because with the amount of displacement that they can do, like how much they can move themselves, if I don't play Ruse, I'll never catch up to them and they'll just be spinning circles around me. So this is his biggest fail of the fight. He forgot to close the portals or he might have ran out of time. So this allows me to take a huge advantage because not only is he eroded, he's also going to take huge amounts of damage, which is going to put him on the running end of the fight for the rest of the fight or for a big portion of it at least. He just took 3k damage under erosion. Uh, I noticed that I'm not kaboomed, which forces me to rogue because if I don't rogue then he might put me in my own bomb line and I don't want to take that damage because otherwise I'd be running and healing and we can't have that. Again, he tried to heal himself, but he hit himself. I'm not sure what he was doing there. I think he thought that he would heal himself, but he hit the wrong spell. He used Lazy Beam instead of Wakfu Ray. So now he's kind of far. I'm trying to catch up to him. I'm going to make sure that the portals stay blocked so he can't hit me so easily. So I'm going to block it using crossing. I'm going to set up my bomb next, next turn so that I can ruse easily. Uh, the goal versus Eliotropes is to stay as high health as you can. Erode them and they're going to hit you but then you can just run away and heal. And they don't really have eroding so as long as you don't take too much damage, if you have the right resistance, if you have the right placements, you'll be able to win fairly simply. You'll see this fight goes with flying colors. Again, he's not the best Eliotrope but uh, he he did do what he can do, so maybe I'm just better, who knows. I know, I am better. <laughs> so he is quite in a bad position, his portals are not optimized to be able to reach me. I think this turn he's going to go through, try to kill my big bomb. I'm not sure if I should have used it to uh, push towards him, but we'll just say that I used it as bait. That was not on purpose, but we'll pretend that it was. He's got a little bit of distance, I think I'm going to block the portals here, that way He's even in a worse situation. With portals blocked, he <laughs> he can't escape. So I'm slowly going to close in on him. My bombs are going to get bigger and bigger. And that way I'll always win versus an Eliotrope. 
So what I do here is I put a ball in front of me so that he can't pull me away because they have the spell therapy which has really long range. If I don't block the line of sight, he can just use therapy on me which will unlock his portal and then he can separate them out and run again. So even though he had done the big fail earlier, you can see now he's back to full health so we're kind of reset here. He did take a lot of erosion but he's still at 4.1k uh, HP so that's not nothing. I'm going to see what I'm going to do here. Okay, I believe I come in for the erosion. I make sure to use leak pie before my erosion even though you know you might think you want it erodes first uh, it's because I was on my ebony 5 state so my next attack was going to place the poison which means that I don't want to place since I'm at intelligence I don't want to place a chance of poison that would be useless so I place my intelligence poison then I place my erosion ice going to be taking a lot of damage from from that for the next few turns uh, he's under erosion this turn so whatever I can do to hit him doesn't matter if I expose myself it's always going to be worth it so what do I do here? I was thinking about using a dirty trick boombot method, but instead I, I figured I'll probably save my boombot for later. And I use a walking bomb instead. Send the walking bomb out and walk it around them. Uh, I also made sure to block the portal with the bomb, so I get two bonuses from that. Now he has no choice but to kill my bomb if he wants to spread his portals again. Uh, you'll notice that he also accidentally, well not accidentally, but he couldn't help it. He he put the ebony poison on my bomb because he didn't kill it with the first hit, so that ends up placing the poison, so that's too bad for him. What do we do here? Coming in. Do, was I able to hit him this turn? I don't remember. Yeah, I was. Okay, so we have a nice little move with Boomba over here. So we push him. I was counting the MP, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Boomba has 9 MP, nice to remember. He wasn't under erosion, but he's kind of at low HP right now, so I don't always have to hit him under erosion, as long as I keep him under under pressure, then he'll spend his turns healing and he won't really be able to hit me. And the golden rule of Dofus is if you spend your turns healing, you're not going to win the fight. So so we'll see what happens. Okay, uh, he's kind of far, I don't think I'll be able to hit him with my bombs. So I think I just raw dog it, I just go in and spam a few corrupted bows and shit. And then I make sure to block the, the, the portal. I was going to block it with an intelligence bomb, but then I realized that he could easily just move my other bomb in line with me, and then I would just take hella damage very easily, and I don't want that to happen. He does a nice move here. He takes a little zone to heal himself and to be able to hit me. Kind of smart. Uh, I would have done the same thing, I suppose. But now he's exposed, and... And I have a move to be able to get him. I count my MP. I set everything in motion. I make sure to explode the bomb at the top because I can only have three bombs on the playing field at once. So if I don't explode it, my walking bomb won't be able to, to you know, become alive. I was thinking about last breath there. If you if you look back for a second, but uh, I couldn't get two bombs with it and wasn't confident that I could kill, so I wasn't sure. So you see here that he triggered the sparkling gophis. So the interesting th interesting thing about sparkling gophis is that it gets activated before. Ebony does. So let's say I hit him and then he has 200 HP left and my Ebony does minus 250 but he has Sparkling Dofus so if my Ebony were to pass first he would die but the Sparkling passes first so he gets healed and then he gets hit with Ebony Poison so he doesn't die. Same thing goes for uh, Dococo. <laughs> so now I'm laughing here because he's at 1 HP which is kind of funny. You don't see that very often. Uh, <laughs> makes me think that maybe if I had not left out that one damage on my mages I would have won right here because uh, my Corrupted Bow, for example, only has 14 damage. So this is the end of the fight. I'm just going to come in and finish him respectfully. Uh, that's it. That's how I play versus Eliotropes. You just got to gotta take your time, have the right resistance, hopefully. Try to have a good set. Rush them, erosion, run away. And that's how you end up beating Eliotropes. I hope you guys like this kind of commentary style. If you do, please let me know because I actually quite like recording like this and talking over it. Uh, I hope to make some more like this in the future. Let me know in the comments. Bye-bye. See you next time.